Hello everyone and welcome back to the dork side. It is I, your friendly neighborhood dork in my garage. Today we're going to install the Air Max Touring Windscreen for the Kawasaki Versus. That's right everyone, I am the dork in the road and I want to be your internet writing buddy and I'm better than your regular writing buddies because I'm available whenever you want and I come with a mute button. So please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notifications so you know when I post awesome new content just like this. If you've been around the channel, you heard me talk about the Versus at all in the past, you probably heard me complain about the stock windscreen. Uh, I love this bike, I love a lot of things about it, but the, the windscreen setup is probably my least favorite part. I don't know why, I don't know what magic it is in the design, but for some reason on the Versus, the buffeting with this screen seems to hit perfectly right here about mid-helmet. And when I first got this bike, it was so loud, I couldn't even make videos on it. Uh, I was having to go in and post-production edit out the wind and stuff. So it's the one design flaw in what I think is an overwhelmingly amazing bike. Uh, and so originally, I replaced this stock windscreen, which is very small, which is the, with the much larger GV D4114 ST. And this, this screen has been good for me. Um, but when Motormachines.com reached out to me and asked me if I would be interested in doing a review video on some Air Max products, I jumped at the chance to test out another potential solution to the buffeting issue on the Versus 650. This is the Air Max Touring screen. So as you can see, it's very tall. Uh, so the Air Max screen is much taller. You can see the comparison much taller than the stock screen. So if you have any freeway riding time, anything at all like that, uh, this thing will be much more comfortable at those high speeds. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna put it on and then we're gonna test it out. So you can see it's roughly the same size as the GV, but what I'm most interested in, you probably can't see it, but this curvature is far more severe on the Air Max screen and I'm hoping that'll create an air channel that lifts the buffeting up over my head even better than the GV screen does. So we're gonna put it on and we're gonna try it out. So I'll walk you through that. The first thing you have to do when you get the Air Max screen is it has these rubber grommets, as you can see them, and they need to go into the holes in the rim screen. You're gonna have to forgive all the fingerprints because in the process of putting them in, I touched the screen quite a bit and I haven't uh, cleaned it off yet. It's fairly straightforward, but that's step one, so I wanna make sure I covered it. Step two is take your old screen off. So first you just start with the adjuster dials. You can unscrew them all the way. So the Versus, for those of you that don't own one, has this adjustable screen, so you just loosen these and it slides up and down. Which is nice, except you kind of have to just keep it at high position all the time, unless you're only riding around in town. But step one to removing the windscreen is just take these all the way off. You will use all your original hardware, so don't set, don't lose anything. Make sure you set it all aside where you can find it. So when you unscrew it, you get the slider, the bolt, there's a washer, and then the nut, the adjuster nut. So keep all that together. And once you've unscrewed it, the windscreen will come off. And then it's just a matter of taking these off of the back of your windscreen. So you need a four millimeter Allen key, or there's a little plastic washer. I want to keep that. This is my aftermarket screen, yes, but the stock screen came off exactly the same way. So all everything I'm doing will apply to the stock screen, because obviously, hopefully you're upgrading from stock. And there's four pieces, well, there's six pieces here. So don't lose this plastic slider, because that's how it moves up and down. Just putting it all together so I can find it again. But don't lose this plastic slider, it's important. And you're just gonna put the brackets on the Air Max screen the exact way you just took them off the other one. So they're gonna go behind like this and these screws are gonna come straight through. Don't forget, you should have the grommets in already. I just wanna be super clear on how the grommets works. There's a rubber grommet that goes into the hole and then there's a, these are metal that go on the outside and they need to go into the hole from the outside and these protect the hole and protect the screen from getting smashed. So it takes a little effort to get them started into the bracket, but they will go in. Just keep persisting. You have to press, kind of hard to get it started because you've got to compress that rubber grommet. Once you have the brackets on, keep in mind that the plastic sliders go on the back side, like this, because these are what the, the windscreen slides up and down. So make sure you put them on there, They're not too tight, before you slap this back on to the bike. And then you put it in the tracks, it should re stand relatively on their own. Okay, this next part is a little tricky. Basically, here's what you have. Quick release nut and a washer. These two things go on the front of the windscreen. And then these two things go on the back side of the bracket. And this plastic slider goes around it like this and then you have to get the square part here into the channel underneath. 
and you have to do that through the windscreen. I'm not certain I can even make it so you can see that. Maybe on the second one, let me just try to get the first one in. It helps if you push it all the way up, gives you a little bit more room to work with. And push it through, slap it into the groove, and then, oh yeah, if you can hold on to it from the front, just get it started like that. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna tighten this one down and I'll try to show you on the other side. Can't zoom in on the GoPro, so you're gonna have to make do with the 30,000 foot view. Basically, once your bracket's on the windscreen, you pop it into the groove like this. So you have your four pieces, right? Take off, and they like to pop over each other. That got really confusing the first time I did this, so let this be a lesson to you. Uh, take off your adjuster nut and your washer. Keep them on this side for when you pop it through. But the trick is, take this bolt, put the slider on it like that, see how it fits? And then this square part, the, the, the long sides fit into the grooves of the channel that the windscreen slides up and down, like that. And then just make sure that you turn it sideways so it fits. It helps to maybe start this. Let me start the outside. You just have to pop it into this groove. So you have to kind of finagle the slider and then get it into the groove like that. And then tighten it down. And then you're good to go. So I want this in the highest position. So I'm just gonna slide it up as high as I can and tighten it down right here. Oh, it's definitely narrower. I actually like the look better. So the screen is on, it's actually narrower. I th think about that GV screen is it's so huge. It's never looked good to me. Um, this one doesn't look bad though. I like the look of it. That's how you install it. It's relatively simple to get it onto the bike. But the real test is going to be getting out on the road and seeing how the wind buffeting is. So uh, I'm going to give that a shot now. So why don't you come along for a ride with us? Well, here we are out on the motorcycle. As you can see, the Air Max screen is in front of me, securely attached to the Versus. And we are riding. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about my impressions of it on the bike. This screen is a lot narrower than the GV screen, as you can see. The GV screen is so wide that you came close to hitting the hand guards on it when you went left to right. This one is way more focused uh, and it's narrower at the bottom and gets a little bit bigger at the top. So what I'm noticing immediately is that there is more wind on my chest than, I'm, than there is with the GV screen, but my head, it seems to do a much better job of creating a bubble of calm air where my head is. It moves the buffeting up to a much more comfortable space and I really think it's because of this curve on top. It's much more curved than the GV screen. So I like that. I like how much narrower it is. I like the look. It's definitely deflecting the air away from my head, so that's impressive. It's easy to see through. I like that. You guys are looking right through it. I'm actually looking over the top. I mean, I obviously don't have any wind when I duck down, but what's remarkable is I don't feel it at all until here or so. So I have to sit up very, very straight. So in my normal riding position, at least right now, uh, my head seems to be mostly out of the wind. My chest is not, but my head definitely is. So far I'm impressed with this screen. It was pretty easy to put on. It does the job and it, it does a better job of either of the other two screens I've had of putting your head and getting your head out of the buffeting. So that's impressive. And it's narrower so it's less obtrusive than the one that I had before, than the GV screen. So if you want to check this screen out for yourself, I'll put a link in the description. So if you own a Versus and you're looking to upgrade your stock screen, I will tell you, this Air Max screen is definitely a huge upgrade over the stock screen. And if you're trying to decide between it and one of the other options, the GV, uh, the Air Max screen is a little cheaper than the GV. There's that. There's less material here. I think it looks better. I like this one, the look of it a little better. It seems to keep my head out of the buffeting pretty well. So this is the Touring screen, the Air Max Touring screen, and I would say uh, it's worth taking a look at for sure. And I, again, I'll put a link in the description had my signal on this whole time again. Motomachines.com. Uh, I believe they're the only place in America that you can get this particular screen. And I will make sure that I put a link in the description below. Air Max is a French company. This is where I dropped my 500 F, remember that video? Not my finest hour. Let's get that walk around shot.
All right, everyone. Well, that's going to do it for this overview installation video and a quick review of the Air Max touring screen for the Kawasaki Versus 650. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. If you've used the same windscreen and you have thoughts and feelings on it, I'd love to hear those in the comments. But for now, I just want to say thank you for watching. And as always, please do not forget to be excellent to each other. Thank you. Excellent! Before I let you go, I want to give a shout out to Hippo Drones. You may remember that I mentioned in a couple, a couple videos ago for sending me some stickers all the way from England to add to my locker. And he also sent me stickers from a few of our other motovlogger friends. This is Hold Your Fire and Big Pezza and the Geared Raven. So I told you Hippo Drones is all about supporting those other motovloggers and here he is sending me stickers from four people including himself. So let's add these bad boys to the locker. These are all motovloggers you should check out by the way. This won't fit on the side, I should put it on the side. The man himself, Hippo Drones. If you haven't checked him out, you definitely should. Right here. All right, if you're interested in joining the Locker of Fame, I would love to put your sticker up. Please just send me an instant message on Instagram, Facebook, or here on YouTube, or email me at adorkinthroadappears at gmail.com, and I'll talk to you about how we can make that happen. But thank you to Hippo Drones for sending that package all the way from England and the cool letter. Thank you for the letter. Uh, and as always, everyone, please do not forget to be excellent to each other.